Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 21. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, for subscribing, and for all of the great feedback. It is truly awesome how many people are getting such great stuff out of these tips. Uh, and I cannot tell you how pleased I am to be able to do this for you. So, uh, for today's tip of the day, I am going to show you how to have a little bit of fun with the rotation tool. Uh, the rotate tool is the one that is the, when you're in the timeline, or excuse me, in the motion editor and you have a model selected, rotate allows you to turn things like so, so I can turn my spy model. Now, the rotate tool is interesting because it normally defaults to the axis of the model. Now, I will explain what I mean. If you, if you look carefully, you will see, I'm going to go ahead and escape. If you look, you will see that the axes of the rotation tool follow the world because the spy is currently vertical. Now, if I turn it this way, he rotates normally and his feet stay where they are. Uh, but if I turn it this way, not only does he rotate, but the axis of rotation changes. So if I grab this one, he is now at an odd angle. And that's okay. I mean, I can go ahead and commit this. But then if I go back to rotate it, I have to, If I, let's say I want to spin him relative to the world instead of relative to his axis. Well, I can do that. All I have to do is press the shift key before I click the rotate button. And when you do, note that a little square appears inside the rotate arrows. And notice also that the rotate tool has changed its axis. So now I can spin my spy model around this axis and then I can grab it like this. And also note that no matter how much I rotate the model, the rotation tool itself stays locked to the world. This makes it very easy to do something like, well, like this. I can put the spy back upright. So that's a fun little thing. But if I click shift, or if I click it again, just a regular mouse click will change it back to this. And uh, then it is relative to the model's axis, not the, uh, not the world axis. Shift click will cause it to be locked to the world axis. A very useful little feature. Um, I would hope you would agree. I'll go ahead and hit escape here. Now another interesting little trick, actually I'm going to go ahead and put him back upright. Another interesting thing that you can do with the rotation tool, and this applies to most of the other tools that are available within Source Filmmaker, is you can actually change their center. Now if you note here, when I look at this model, he will rotate horizontally. What if I want to rotate him in a circle? Say, let's put him over here. And let's say I want, him to, I want to rotate him around this circle for some reason. Well, I can do that because if I go and I click the rotate tool and then I put the, the viewport on the center of where I want to look at and then I say Alt-V, that's not quite it. Alt-V, that's closer. Alt-V will cause the um, the tool, the current, the rotation tool to be moved off axis. Now note that his reference point is still this green anchor here, but now the rotation tools handles are over here. So when I grab this, now he rotates around in a circle around the rotation tool. And uh, I can do this. And the same thing applies if I hit shift and click, then the rotation applies in world space as opposed to being relative to the model. Uh, I believe that if you have not yet learned about this, that this will make it a lot easier for you to locate some of your objects in space when you are setting up scenes or placing stuff or keyframing and the like. Uh, so I hope that that tip was useful. Uh, again, Alt-V will change the, uh, the center of the rotation handle and Shift while you click on here uh, will cause the uh, rotation to be relative to the world instead of to the model axis. And a regular click causes it to be relative to the model axis. Uh, so again, I hope that was useful. This is uh, uh, the tip of the day number 21. I am Jimmer Lenz. I thank you again for watching and listening. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for using Source Filmmaker.